Many of us love our jobs, but is there such a thing as loving your work a bit too much? In the new book, Work Won't Love You Back, and I'm gonna read this inside yellow part, how devotion to our jobs keeps us exploited, exhausted, and alone, author Sarah Jaffe looks into why doing what we love could be a recipe for exploitation and how many of us easily adjust to doing our jobs that take over our lives. We are happy to welcome labor journalist and author Sarah Jaffe here on The Four. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So we were talking a little bit before uh, our segment and you said you actually wrote this book, Work Won't Love You Back, before the pandemic, but I think mm -hmm. now so many more people can relate to this having worked from home for a year. Yeah, absolutely. I think work has pretty much gotten worse for everyone in the last year, right? If you are still going to a workplace, it's more dangerous. You're more worried about getting close enough to your coworkers to have a conversation. If you're working from home, you have no boundaries. You can see the corner of my bed here in my Zoom shot. Like you see exactly how close I am to, you know, sleep and work. Um, and if you lost your job in the pandemic, you are, you know, stressed out about figuring out what comes next because we don't, you know, we have some sort of a safety net, but not much of one. And so the realities of how much we depend on work to fill our lives with meaning, but also with the ability to make a living has never been clear. I think the boundaries have been blurred, especially during the pandemic when you do come down. I work, for instance, 3 yeah. p.m. to midnight, but you come down the stairs at 9 a.m., your work is right there and you end up working mm -hmm. 9 a.m. until midnight. What is the danger? You know, back in the day, they would say, oh, workaholics are great. You know, we know you're going to be dependable, responsible. You're going to get the job done, but it really can cause a lot of harm mm -hmm. to the person who's working too much. You know, it's funny, a, a friend of mine sent me an article the other day from 1981, which is the year after I was born, and it was about workaholism as a problem that we should be looking out for. And reading this article, it was from the, uh, the St. Petersburg Times in Florida, I think, and all of the descriptions of what a workaholic looked like are now the things you're expected to be, that everyone's sort of expected to show up with. And I think... You know, and again, especially during the pandemic, we've sort of realized that this is taking over our entire lives. And especially, you know, it's been it's been hard for me to preach to live my own advice, considering I had this book come out right. in lockdown winter, where basically all I've done for the last two and a half months has been promote this book, and it's exhausting. What is the danger so, of you know, working too yeah. much? What is what is the danger? Why should people kind of take a step back and think, you know, yeah. no, I need to carve out time for myself? <sighs> Yeah, I think the real thing is that we've been told that work is something we do to find fulfillment. But, you know, really, at the end of the day, like I mentioned, with, you know, millions of people having lost their jobs during a pandemic, we realize afresh that, you know, ultimately we're doing this so that we can afford to live. And all of the other things, especially the things that, you know, many of us are missing right now because we can't do them because of lockdown, various lockdown measures, we're realizing exactly how much of our lives are sort of truncated because we're spending so much time and effort and energy and sort of emotion on our jobs. Because work won't love you back. It's the people in your lives. It's your family members, your mm -hmm. friends and people, those relationships that maybe you've put off prior to the pandemic that will love you back. Sarah Jaffe, thank you so much for joining us to talk about your new book, Work Won't Love You Back. You can get it on Amazon and any bookstore. We wish you luck. And now go take a break. I give you, I give you permission <laughs> to go take a break. Thank you so thank much. You, Sarah.